Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about some people. All right, so let's get into this mess. This is according to TMZ. Jonathan Majors dating Megan Good. I don't know. Allegedly. <laughs> Jonathan Majors is still in the throes of a tricky legal situation, but he's been able to find some time for love. TMZ has learned the actor recently started dating Megan Good. Sources with direct knowledge tell us over the course of the last several weeks, Jonathan, Ma Jonathan, Jonathan and Megan have gotten close and the relationship is fairly new. What's more, a witness tells us uh, they were at Alamo at the Alamo Draft House in L.A. last weekend. Uh, to see a movie, so it's not like they're hiding the fact they're hanging out. Um, it's unclear how serious the relationship is, but we've reached out to reps uh, for Megan and Jonathan so far. No word back. Um, of course, J uh, Majors continues to fight criminal charges in NYC. Y'all already know. Um, so... Uh, I don't know if this is true um we don't know you know megan good has done a great job of navigating through her career through that whole hollywood mess um, from what I can remember, I don't keep up with Megan Good like that, but I don't really remember her being splattered across the, uh, you know, the head, you know, name across, you know, in the headlines, um, over anything scandalous. I think the only scandal that Megan has ever really been in from what I remember is remember when she wore that low cut dress to the BT awards and she was presenting like a gospel award and some of y'all had a fit. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. But other than that, you know, besides her divorce from her husband, I don't really think, you know, she's really been in too much mess. Um, If this is true, <laughs> I think that if this is true, girl, can I say something and stop trying to beat around the bush? I really don't be, I really don't be wanting to like, like make nobody mad. I really, that's really, not, that, that, that's never my intention to come on here and like upset anyone, especially if you are a subscriber and you know you may not feel the same way I feel and I say something and it triggers you and then you get upset and then you mad you know so that's, that's not what I'm on here to do um but I gotta go and I can't be like I can't be playing girl if Megan is talking to that man she's stupid girl she's stupid why would you even want to be around someone who has allegations of A-B-U-S-E. They have dropped everything except the footage that they said they were going to drop when they were in the car, right, in the taxi cab. I guess the, foot, I guess the taxi cab had um, a recording device. You know, some um, Lyft drivers, Ubers, taxi cabs, they're, you know, they're recording you while you're in the car for safety reasons. Um... But they said that the Uber drive, the the taxi ca the taxi driver had said, I guess nothing happened, and also they captured whatever happened on video. They still have not released that video. We do know that just because someone accuses you of something does not mean that it is true. Okay, people lie all the time. With that being said. I don't know why she would want to be involved with someone with as many allegations as he has. It ain't just one. Okay? And then on top of that, girl, on some real messy stuff, girl, girl, why are you dealing with a man who ain't even... I, girl, that man is almost unemployed. Y'all love taking care of a nigga. I don't understand it. 
I don't understand it. Girl, y'all love taking care of a man who ain't got no job, girl. He got allegations on top of allegations on top of accusations, girl. I don't understand it. Girl, did you pay for the movie? Because <laughs> whatever little money he got, I know he's trying to hang on to it. And let's say they're not dating. Let's just say they're friends. Why do you want to be friends with somebody like that? Girl, the only way that I'm going to give Megan a pass, and it, I, know this, I know this may rub some of y'all the wrong way, you're going to have to tell me that Megan and um, Jonathan are, are childhood friends. And she's just trying to support her friend the best way she knows how. That's the only way it's going to make sense to me. You y'all gonna have to tell me, girl. Jonathan and um, <laughs> Megan went to the same performing um, school. <laughs> Something, because <laughs> if Megan is just hang, if Megan just started hanging out with this man, because this is a gag, right? <laughs> like <laughs> he was, he's already accused. Of knocking his girlfriend upside her head. So two to two to four weeks after these accusations have come out, right? Now all of a sudden he's dating a girl. Of that girl. Can we be messy? Girl, now he's dating a black girl. I said, girl. Girl. I believe that you can be interested in more than one race. I do. Because I think the white men be fine. I be thinking the Asians be fine. I be thinking the diggers be fine. I be thinking all these men be fine. So you can be attracted to more than one race, okay? But I just think it's, I think it's kind of like, oh, girl, now all of a sudden, girl. <laughs> now all of a sudden, girl. That's why I'm saying, girl, they, they'll run to y'all. They'll run to y'all to rescue them. They always do it, and y'all always fall for the oak. I'll be on here trying to tell y'all. Y'all like to listen to me because y'all say I ain't got no man. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even got no man, so you don't even know, girl. That's all right, because the way I see these niggas treating y'all, girl, you shouldn't want one either. But let me shut up. I don't want to make nobody mad today. It's Saturday. Girl, it's Saturday, and I'm not trying to make nobody mad. Girl, I'm just about to finish, polish this hand. I already polished this hand. I'm about to polish this hand. And then um, I'm going to go get my nieces some cupcakes. Because <laughs> I told, uh, told them yesterday I was going to bring them some cupcakes today. And it's already getting late. And you know, they, they be running out of flavors. Like, I'm going to Crave. They high asses. Crave cupcakes is high as hell. I'm going to try not to eat one. Y'all pray for me, okay? Anyways, but yeah, so Jonathan ran over here, <laughs> black woman to the rescue. We gonna we gonna put you up. We gonna we we we, we gonna we gonna put out a rumor. <laughs> I hope this is a rumor. I hope this is a rumor. I hope this is a rumor. I hope this is not true. We gonna we gonna we wanna Megan. Do you wanna? Would you like to go on a date with Jonathan? You know, because sometimes they, these people they set these dates up right. So maybe they came to Megan and said, "What about what about if we set you up on a date with Jonathan?" And she was like, I mean, I guess. I would have said, girl, hell no. Nigga about to come over and try to use me. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I mean, girl, it is what it is, child. I can't do nothing about it. If she would have, she would have. She a fool as she is, though. Megan, if I find out you with that man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't do nothing about it, but I'm going to talk about you, though. <laughs> oh, I'm going to talk. <laughs> If I can't do nothing else about the situation, oh, he's going to run his mouth. <laughs> okay? Anyways, you know, shout out to Megan. But Megan, I hope this ain't true. I hope that I hope the people just lying. Anyways, uh, Wendy Williams reportedly pitched herself to join the Real Housewives of New York City. But Andy Cohen declined. Um, this is according to the Jasmine brand. Um, I also know uh, All True Tea. Shout out to All True Tea. All true, all true T also posted. Um, there was some lady, someone who had kind of like, you know, Andy's coming out with a, a new book, and she had posted um, basically the most important parts about the book um, to give us an idea of what's inside of the book. Um, 
I wanted to kind of go over that because I was, I literally, when I say I laid in my bed and read every single word, <laughs> girl, it was about, girl, it was probably eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> girl, and I was still up. Y'all know I got insomnia like a mug. Um, girl, it was like eight o'clock, seven, it was like seven or eight in the morning, and um, All True T had just posted it, and I was like, girl, what's this? I was like, huh? I said there. I think girl, it was. It wasn't like it wasn't like you know a book, but it was a lot, you know, for Instagram. And I read every single word. Anyways, um, according to Andy Cohen's new book, The Daddy Diaries: The Year I Grew Up, Wendy Williams once pitched herself to join the uh, Bravos, The Real Housewives of New York City. Reportedly, the former host of the Wendy Williams show called Andy Cohen in t May 22. And told him she wanted to be on Real Housewives of New York. However, Andy said he turned down the idea due to Wendy Williams' personal issues. You know what's so crazy? When I tell you, when I tell you baby, those tables will turn. From what I remember, and y'all know I was a big fan of Wendy Williams. From what I remember, I don't think Wendy disrespected reality TV. But I think at one point, of course, because Wendy Williams was Wendy Williams. We're not going to downplay her career. But I think at one point, Wendy kind of looked down on certain people like, girl, why would you want to be on reality TV? Ew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like one of those, like if she, like if she, like if, if she felt that you, basically, if she felt like you were too good for reality TV, she would question why are you on reality TV? Some people, she understood why they were on reality TV, but it was also those one or two people who would do reality TV. She would be like, girl, why are you doing this? Ew, it's gross. You're above that. Girl, now she's knocking on the door. Talking about, can I come in? <laughs> Andy told her, hell no. I'm glad he told her no, though. I said, this this, uh, this made me kind of... Y'all know, you know, Andy Cohen, and, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with Andy Cohen. When it's good, it's good. Girl, when it's bad, we drag his ass. <laughs> okay? Um... But Andy said in the book, um, had this call come a year earlier, it would have been a brilliant idea. Uh, if she is struggling with mental health issues, though, this isn't the time. Her enthusiasm was infectious. Um, though when I was explaining the idea of legacy and the brand new show, she just wanted to focus on the last version. So the conversation didn't go anywhere. Um, as you may recall, the Wendy Williams show came to a controversial end following 12 seasons on air. Um, we already know all of that, girl. We're not getting over it. Sherry Shepard stole her show. She didn't steal it. She didn't steal it. Um, but you ask Wendy, Wendy will tell you differently. <laughs> okay. Um, while we won't see Wendy Williams on Real Housewives of New York, we may be seeing the former talk show host on our TV screens in the near future. As previously reported, Wendy Williams had been spotted filming uh, for an upcoming project. Wendy's rep, Sean Zanotti, confirmed that while it's not a reality, rea reality show, she is indeed filming. Girl, all I'm going to say is this. You know, Wendy really don't need... Like, y'all know... I, if it, I'm, I'm glad Andy had decency enough to kind of look out for Wendy because while I'm sure the ratings probably would have been through the roof to see Wendy Williams on Real Housewives of New York, she's just not in a good space. You know, we have to be real. She, Wendy ain't got no business being on reality TV. When I say it would be a complete circus, when I say it would be a complete, like it would be more so like, oh my God, why do they have her on TV versus... Girl, oh my God, girl, she's good TV. Like, take her off. Like, no, for real, take her off TV. Like, uh, girl, like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they turned her down. Like, girl, it's not gonna work. Girl, you a mess. Oh, I should, oh, not a mess, but you're going through, um, girl, you're going through stuff. You're going through stuff right now. I shouldn't have said mess. I take, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, girl, you shouldn't, you, you going through stuff, mama. Mm -mm. Now, if you would have came back to us when you was over there. You know, five years ago, then girl, we were gladly to Miss Wendy Williams on the Real Housewives of New York. But girl, not now, not today. Mm -mm. It's a wrap. Um, shout out to Wendy Williams. Uh, hopefully, she's doing great. Speaking, <laughs> masterpiece shows support of mystical calls for rapper to be to be released from jail following R.A.P. 
E charge. All right, so listen to this. Looks like Mystical definitely has at least one person rooting for him amid his current legal troubles. Master P, you a mess. Ugh. Um, according to reports, Master P paid homage to the former artist um, by playing hits his hit 1997 song, The Man Right Chia. During his recent performance at the Las Vegas Lovers and Friends Music Festival, in addition to playing the throwback track, Master P, real name, Percy Robert Miller Sr., called for Mystical's release. He said into the mic, free Mystical. Hmm. The 53-year-old then encouraged concert goers to also, support, also show support and said, y'all get y'all hands up for my dog. You may recall that mystical-born Michael Tyler is currently behind bars without bond in Louisiana as he awaits trial for a RAPE and false imprisonment case. As previously reported, Mystical 52 was arrested last July for first degree, the R word, um, false imprisonment, um, girl strangulation, simple battery, I mean simple robbery, simple criminal damage to property, girl... He's also accused of physically attacking a woman, holding her against her will, and aring her in his residence near Baton Rouge. Girl, I'm not, girl this, is, this is what it come down to. This is the... Girl, I can't even get my fingers up. Girl, okay? This is the third time. The first time Mystical went to prison. Um, let me read this part so y'all don't think I'm lying. Um, as previously reported, this isn't the first time Mystical has been accused of S.A. In 2004, he was sentenced to six years in prison after pleading guilty to S.A. and a woman. So Mystical went to jail, went to prison for violating someone. Then he got out of prison and then he violated someone again, allegedly. But I don't think it was enough. Uh, I think I don't think they had enough evidence to like go to trial or something. Basically, long story short, he got off. And then this is the third time. And this time, as I just read, he's in jail. Can I say something? I want to say something, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't really want to. Like, I'm not victim blaming. You know, it, but I do have a. We we had this conversation before. We're gonna have it again. For the life of me, I don't understand how women and men, it's one thing when you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> right? When you don't know, you just don't know. So if you could honestly say, like, I've never heard of Mystical. I've never heard, or even if I have heard of Mystical, I've never heard that he had done these things to these women. Like, if you could say that, then, okay, I can't blame you for dealing with someone and it just happened, and then, unfortunately for you, something bad happened, right? If you could say, I didn't know none of this stuff. But the thing is, I be thinking y'all be knowing right like Trey Songs for example every time we look up it's something going on with Trey Songs I know he got like a case of something dismissed but even when Kiki Palmer tried to tell us the nigga is aggressive <laughs> you know what I'm saying Kiki Palmer tried to tell us right so all I'm saying is I need for y'all men and women I'm talking to the gay ones when y'all hear these stories about trade, believe the stories about trade. When y'all hear that trade is up to no good, they up to no good. When y'all hear stories about mystical going to prison, and again, I'm not talking about the people who don't know. I'm talking about people who have heard these things. When you have heard these stories, when you heard that this is when you heard that mystical went to prison. What made you say, let me go to this nigga's house? Like, what made you say that? 
And again, I'm going to say this again for the fourth time or the fifth time. I'm not talking about people who don't know information. I'm talking about people who have heard these stories. You've heard scuttlebutt, right? You've heard these things. You've heard these stories. Even if it's the streets talking, you done heard something. But you choose to ignore it. So what happens in these situations is you have someone who, you know, the first victim. Then you have the second victim because she probably heard the story and she didn't give a damn, right? And now she's in the same situation as the first victim. And now you have the third victim who probably heard the stories. She probably heard the stories of the second victim and the first victim. And now she's the third victim. It's like it, 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 it's, it's like when, when, when gay men are trans women, I'm not victim blaming. It's like y'all want to deal with some of the most trifling, degenerate men in the community. Y'all have this obsession with trade, 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 trade. And every time we look up, trade is off in the girls. Great better go get you a man who, who out proud, gay, do cartwheels, flips, and kicks. It's already enough going on in relationships anyways. The last thing you need to be worried, worried about is losing your life. Which I'll be wanting to be with Trey and DL and I like them. You know, I like for us to go out and don't nobody really know we mess around. Girl, where? Girl, now I want to hold my man's hand. <laughs> girl. Just like this. My hand's ashy, girl. Just like this. Girl, I want me an old butch queen. <laughs> And he out. <laughs> and ain't hiding. But y'all love Trey, though. Y'all love dealing with a man who not out. Y'all love dealing with Trey who only want to deal with you at nighttime. Because what you, what's, what you think going to happen when the daytime comes and people find out? Like, it'd it be too many stories out here. And y'all don't want to believe it. Let me tell you something. One thing, I want to I give a shout out to the gay men who looked out for me. I met some amazing gay guys when I worked at Zara. They used to hit me to game. And even some of the gay guys I've just messed with along the way. I remember one gay guy told me straight up, don't ever, this was when I was young. I was in my 20s. I remember him telling me, Rodney, you know, don't ever be in a relationship. Don't ever deal with someone who puts their hands on you. I didn't realize how big, like, DB was in the LGBTQ community until, like, girl. It ain't never happened to me, but, girl, that's why I say the girls be fighting. <laughs> the girls will fight. Will fight and go to the club. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember a couple of gay guys when I worked at Zara telling me, Rodney, don't ever, don't ever deal with Trey. I'm telling you, don't ever deal with Trey. And, just, and them telling me those things that always stuck in my head. I never dealt with Trey. <laughs> get out of my face. Girl, no. Girl, no. Girl, no. Move, move. Get out of my face. No, I can't do nothing with you. Um, yeah. So shout out to them. You know, each one teach one. Anyway, shout All right, I'm done, I'm done running my mouth up today. I want to go live tonight. I kind of want to go live tonight. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Was there anything else we could talk about? And then I'm going to get off of here. And another thing, I'm starving too. We have, do we actually have a lot more to talk about, but it's, I, I got to go though. All right, y'all, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all probably tomorrow or maybe even tonight if I, if I decide to go live. All right, bye y'all.